It's the WP Minute. This episode is brought to you by the WP Minute. If you have a story to tell or want to contribute one minute of audio clips to our podcast, please reach out to us at the WPMinute.com slash contact. We're looking for your voice around the topics of Gutenberg, full site editing, WooCommerce, the future of WordPress, and more, whatever you have. Join us to support the show with a coffee or a membership at buymeacoffee.com slash Matt Report. You know how it goes. Everything I mentioned here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the WPMinute.com for the links in the news. Big acquisition news happened last week when Delicious Brains, owned by Brad Tunard, sold five of its plugins to WP Engine. You may use one or all of these plugins, starting with Advanced Custom Fields, WP Migrate, WP Offload Media, WP Offload SES, and Better Search Replace. Some of the product teams will be moving to WP Engine, and the other support teams and developers will continue as usual as issues are escalated to them. Listen to Brad's interview with me right here on the WP Minute. Other e-commerce news, direct-to-consumer patterns, an ongoing barrel research project, has compiled over 100 articles where their teams buy real products from brands many of us are familiar with. They highlight interesting and effective e-commerce user experiences and marketing interactions. These observations are called patterns, where over 100 plus articles were written showcasing various ways brands engage with customers before, during, and after the purchase process. In the events, WordCamp EU is over and it looks like many in the WordPress community had a great time getting together in person and talking about all the new things arriving in WordPress 6.0, Gutenberg, and the future of WordPress. I know I had some FOMO sitting on the sidelines. It was announced that WordCamp EU will be in Athens, Greece next year. The WP Minutes writer Eric Karkovac wrote about the feelings of WordCamps, and David Bassett shares his takeaways from WordCamp EU. I donated $100 to a big orange heart for 20 selfies taken with Matt Cromwell out in Porto. He matched the 100 along with Michelle Frechette's WP Coffee Talk and Stellar WP. I challenge you to match $100 in donations as well. If you're using a page builder with WordPress, this is just a heads up that the Page Builder Summit is right around the corner June 20th through the 24th, 2022. Registration is open for this event. From our contributors and producers, John Locke shared this podcast episode from Master WP about capitalizing the P in WordPress. Nyasha Green and Rob Howard discussed this article about why the capital P in WordPress is such a big deal and why this one letter influences how some people think about it when hiring developers. Speaking of hiring developers, Rachel Cherry is looking to fill a 20-hour-a-week developer position at Cornell University College of Business. Check out the tweet in the blog post or the newsletter for more details. Next up, the WP Security Minute by Chris Wigman and Learn WordPress by Hawa Bashaya. Hello, it's Chris Wigman with your WordPress Minute. As I'm recording this, WordCamp Europe's coming to an end in Porto, Portugal. And there was a couple of great security sessions that were, are worth your time to check out as they become available online in the recordings. The first is from a local Floridian, or local to me anyway, Victor Santoyo, who's been a long time contributor to Security, where he talks about lessons learned in 2021 with WordPress security. He covers topics such as vulnerabilities in WordPress itself, the plugins, API keys, and various other things that have, have made the news over the next year. And the second session that's worth your time to check out is protecting website visitors with security headers by Roger Lankhurst. Security headers are something that's often overlooked and definitely worth your time to, to uh, increase the uh, security of your own site if you haven't done so already. Again, check those out on WordCamp Europe as they become available. Thank you. Hi, it's Hawa Abashia from the Make Trading team here with your Learn WordPress Minute. As I'm recording this, Members of the training team are at WordCamp Europe and will be present at Contributor Day. If you were able to attend, do tell us what you got up to. The faculty program is now live and accepting applications. This is a dedicated volunteer program for the training team and broadly consists of content creators, editors, subject matter experts and administrators. If you or anyone you know might be interested in being part of this program, Check out all the details on the Make Training Team Handbook. It covers the areas of responsibility, how to join, and how applications are vetted. WordPress 6.0 was released in May. Want to help us create and edit content for Learn? Check out our content development project board on GitHub. Pick a topic and leave a comment on the GitHub issue. 
Check out learn.wordpress.org and visit the links in the show notes for more information. We have some new members this week. We'd like to welcome Austin Ginder as a producer and Brian Cords to the WP Minute community. Thanks for supporting the show and joining the Discord. And thanks to all of the members who share these links today. Joe Casabona, John Locke, I think Daniel Schutzmith might have linked one up this week, but we'll put them on the sidelines this week. Thanks for all your efforts, Daniel. And thanks to you, dear listener, for tuning in to your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every Wednesday. You can support the show and independent content like this by purchasing us a digital coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Report or join the Link Squad membership for $79 a year. Support the show and become a producer. The WP Minute at buymeacoffee.com slash Report. That's it for today. If you enjoyed it, please share it on social media. Wherever you do your social media, jump on the mailing list at thewpminute.com. 